Welcome to the request prompt library. From now on, everything prompt related and future configurations will be done from this screen. Now, what do we see when we come to the configuration screen now is system prompts. What are system prompts? They're basically steering the AI. They're giving you instructions on what the AI actually has to do. So for anyone who's using WooCode or Klein or Ader or any of the other platforms out there, we can directly replace the system prompt from this screen. So what you'll see here is Gozu Coder or just one. These are popular um, system prompts for WooCode. So we can actually go and see that system prompt. You can see the entire system prompt here. Now, just for this demo, let's copy the system prompt and let's create a new one. We're going to call this Gozu Coder replica and we're going to just paste it here. We're going to add it some tags. So tags should help you figure out what those uh, prompts are. Imagine you have 40, 50 prompts. Uh, you might want to add some tags. So let's say production. I can also say Gemini or let's say cloud 3.7 because uh, that's the model we're going to use, for example. There you go. So now we can see also this is internal. Uh, we will in the future add a function to push your uh, favorite prompts to public so other people can use them. But now for this case, let's look at the Gozu Coder one and just add some things. Let's say cool. Uh, and now this is actually updated. What this means is the version number went up to version two. If I go and look at that version, I can see all my versioning here. Why is versioning important? Because you might want to improve your system prompt over time, but don't lose the analytics and version history of your previous system prompt. What you can do very quickly as well, is click on a difference and we can show you here the difference between version one and version two. There we go. Now, what's very important is that now these system prompts just live here in the system prompts library, but whenever you click on attach, you can attach it to a select uh, or attach it to an API key. So I can just attach it to my root code API key, boom, and I will see that it's now live with that API key. So whenever I'm going to use that API key, the default system prompt is going to be uh, replaced by my Gosu Coder replica. Now you can see this very cool little um, vibe prompts next to system prompts. So what is vibe prompts? Vibe prompts is something we've added um, to help you be better at your adding your tasks. So for example, if you're using uh, root code or Klein, uh, I've added one of them, which is Python best practices. Now let's look at that. Um, write a clean, idiomatic Python code following pip8, use hints, descriptive variable names, and so on. So what does this mean? It just gives additional background to the AI for what you want to do. So hopefully in the future, you'll have Python, JavaScript, Golang, Rust, and all of these other best practices right here directly in your library. Now, what I can do as well is attach this to my root code. So I can now attach this directly to my root code and both the system prompts and this Vibe prompt will be added as a user prompt. So it will always be available whenever you make requests. Why is this useful from doing this from Requesty? Because you don't have to think about it anymore and you can add as much context as you want directly from Requesty. Um, two other things I can show you are, for example, the filters. You can filter by specific tags or if it's public or not. Uh, you can search, so you can use your Gosu coder if you want. Uh, so these are some of the functionalities we have. Now let's go to real code. Now let's try this out and make a snake game. Make a snake game in Python in just one file. There we go. And we can let the AI go and make a snake game. So here we go and we see the AI coding right here. Now, when we go back uh, to our platform and we go to the logs, we can actually see the overwritten prompt that we used, which is the Gosu Coder prompt, way less tokens as the original prompt, uh, and the actual user input that we've added. So write clean, and the Python code, uh, which was automatically added. So that is the power of using configurations, such as the prompt library from uh, Requesty and the Vibe prompts. Hope this helps.